using Python. My name is Mr. Bardes and I'm a professor in, at a school in La Union. Today I'm going to give a presentation about my experience in fixing Podramit using Python. I started Podramit at a young age. Like any child, I was driven into game development. I can say that game defined me. It is my foundation. My last job was at a web company in Baguio, web design. Because of the big bus, most of our work are outsourced. As the most experienced pod drummer, it was my job to do the job interviews. And further, it was painful. University students didn't do pod drumming, and it was up to me to re drum, to re educate them. This is how my teaching style was developed. When I left my company to get a master's degree, I found an opportunity to teach at La Union. Master degree. If you don't get the ban, he, he said to only one, now I am the master. Anyways, I, tra I started creating my lesson plan. The first thing I know that I do want to do is to teach Java. First of all, there is nothing wrong with Java, but it is a horrible language. It is a horrible first language. Unfortunately, Java is the status quo of first language, and almost all schools teach Java as the first language. So, while working on my lesson plan, I decided to check how Java is taught at other schools. This is a code for Hello World in Java. It is full of arcane stuff. It is just three lines, but you have to learn what is public, static, what is string, what is system that out. That's a lot of things to teach for the first day. I asked the teachers what, uh, how they teach that, and it was horrifying. They basically tell the student to do not worry about this stuff. You will learn as the time goes by. This is bad. I personally find for drama fun. And with Java as the first language, all the fun of Podrami is moved beyond. It takes a longer time before you get to the fun. So, let's put in Python. I learned Python a long time ago, and it is very simple, and uh, it is easy to learn. I taught, those, I taught Python to my students, and they have begun to learn how to program. These are the fundamentals of programming. Variables, if paths, for loops, arrays, and functions. If you know these concepts, then you know how to program. Everything else is uh, extra. About object-oriented programming, here is how I teach it. Or rather, here's the problem with teaching it today. We have an animal class, and you can create two class from that, the dot and the dot class. The dot has the part method, and the cat has the meow method. But what if we need to insert a third class? Now that this is standard, what is being taught at school. This is the standard. Let's say we want to make a parrot class. The parrot has two wings and two feet. That's its attributes. Now where should we put this for the other two? The dot has two, four feet, and the dot has four feet. Unfortunately, what happened is, the, the code is repeated twice. This is not what OOP is supposed to be. OOP is supposed to be code reuse. So we're also having trouble teaching OOP to students. I use Python to teach OOP. How? By not using the animal classes, I use, I teach OOP by using Windows. That is the real world usage of OOP, to create Windows. And Python can do that. 
Another way of teaching OOP is via video games. Here's how I teach OOP by using video game concepts. We have here a monster, Papa Pocket, and here are its stats. Here's another monster, and here is its stats. They share the same code, and both monsters have the same actions, which is five, use the bag, check for other pocket monsters, or to run away. Which brings me to the advantage of using object or using game development as a way to teach object oriented for drama. <coughs> Games have a defined rule. Games have a very set it's very we don't know the rules. You understand the rules. As a result, you can translate the rules into object oriented programming. One of my goals is to be able to teach non programmers how to how to program in Python. That is one of my wishes. The end. Question six. Questions before we go to the next speaker. Yeah. All right. Um, next speaker.